What is your age and when did you retire? I am 77 years old and I retired in November 22nd, 2012. You've begun working with Edith since retiring. Why did you do it? I was looking for help for the elderly. Why did I do it? I felt that that might be something I might want to do to help someone who can't help themselves get out, uh, do little errands for her and her son. Her son lives with her Tom, and I also help him. And while money may be a good incentive, are there other factors that contribute to your reasons for this work? Or what, what are you learning from this experience? Oh, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning about Edith and, and talking with her. Just knowledge, um, and I just enjoy being with, with Edith and with anyone that needs help. I am a caregiver. <laughs> In terms of your own situation, your own retirement and your own aging process, do you feel comfortable with choices you've made, for example, Will you continue to live in your own home as long as you are able? And have you accomplished expressing your wishes to your family? Oh yes, I certainly plan to stay in my home as long as I can. I have um, a wonderful family. I have a son with three beautiful grandchildren, which I, I help my daughter, my daughter-in-law continuously. Uh, no, I, I like where I am. I like what I'm doing. I own my own home and I'm happy there and I will continue as long as I can. And I've expressed that to my children. The reason I ask is it's important that people actually verbalize and or, you know, have that their wishes expressed because like paying taxes, these things you have to do yes. so that there are no actions taken that you wouldn't want and as long as you're you know capable then it should be the way you should live your life the way you want to Edith what is your name and can you tell me how long you have been in your home we only lived here 15 years my name is Edith T. Tolman. What is your age, Edith? My age is, is 100 years old, and I'll be 101 in uh, July. Happy birthday to you in advance, before July. If I don't see you, happy oh, birthday. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. Does having Pat come into your home to assist you put your mind with at ease when she comes to help? Of course I'm happy with her. She's a very, she makes me happy. How often do you see family and friends? They can't get here. Does Pat, can Pat help you go visit if you want to visit somebody? Well, I have a, another person who helps me. So between two people coming to help, you can do what you need to do? Yes, I need help. And, I, and people help me. How is your health? Well, my doctor told me my heart wasn't was in good condition. And they, they asked me questions and they didn't say, tell me anything. They said they cut down on my medicine. So I guess that's a good sign. 
That's good. How are you feeling today? I'm tired. Mm. Yesterday was a busy day for me. You did some running around yesterday? Errands? Well, I, well, of course, when I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, because my son gets up at 4 o'clock, at least for work. And uh, so I thought that Pat was coming in and, and do the wash. So I stripped the beds. And then, of course, when the snow came, I had to find sheets for the beds. So my beds are made up with flannel sheets, which they should have been made up with last spring, last fall. Will you help change the sheets today, Pat? Or well, I'm tired today, but my legs bother me. Do you want me to answer that? Yes, please. Um, she has changed the sheets already, right, honey? Yes. Yeah, you changed I made the beds up. Yeah, I know you did. And they wore you out. You put the flannel ones on. I put the flannel ones on. That you should have put on last winter? Yes. <laughs> and uh, because of the snow, I didn't come. And then I went outside to come after the snow, and my battery was dead. So I called AAA, but we got here at 3.15, yes. I did, and went to her doctor's appointment. And every, how many people had appointments ahead of us? Oh, yeah, say? we sat for a we long were, time, oh, Margaret, yeah, waiting, waiting, long waiting, time. waiting, waiting, waiting. We were out from, what, 1 o'clock to 5 almost, yeah. It was a long day for her. Well, my son got home from work before. Yeah, her son got, got home, home before we got home, and he's usually, you know, so, you know, it was a long day for her. Well, especially when you get up at 3 o'clock. Well, 3 o'clock in the morning. She's a 3 o'clock person. Absolutely. They, see, the company he, my son works for moved to Orange. When they were in New Haven, he, he, he didn't have to leave early. He got home early, too. Yeah, so. Oh, well. He buses it from... But he's a... He's He'll be finished with that job. He'll be through next year. Fall. He retires. He's 65. And does he live son. here? Yes. He has a slight disability, but he works every day. Easter Seals has got him this job. How many years has your son been working there? I, I don't know. Many years. And he'll retire next year. Well, how did you live in so many places? Well, I just had jobs, and if I had... Like uh, someone who lived in Vermont, and they had summer home. I went to home in Florida. I went to Florida. And then, of course, uh, I had relatives. Michigan was full of my relatives. So in the summers, I used to go out there and visit them. What kind of work did you do when you worked? Well, I was... I know that uh, the war effort. They used asbestos. It was called that. But I was allergic to so many things in the factory. Yes, in the factory. So finally I went into housework. Yeah. That was the easiest for me because I had been trained as a cook. So I was always hungry. <laughs> What kind, what kind of food do you like to cook? I don't, I'm not crazy about Italian food, but my son is. So you cook Italian for your son? No, uh, some. Some. And then you buy some. Yeah, I buy some for her, too. Do you cook any more? Do I cook? Now? Oh, yes. That's wonderful. I have to. Yeah. We have to eat. <laughs> we have a good, uh, we have... We have a good balanced meal. Yeah. Salad, you know, we always have salad. You you get salad. Yeah, I get rolls. I had rolls for dessert. dessert. And desserts and donuts and what else some. Um, <laughs> <laughs> your son likes pizzas and what else some. Um, 
Rose Maria Maria Calandro dinners. Yes, as we were shopping. And it's, she has a list, and uh, Margaret, and she, I go down those aisles, and I, she knows stuff and shop like, like better than anybody. I, I have her down pat now, all her shopping. <laughs> dip, 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 right through the stores. That's wonderful. Yeah, and then, um, and she also did the war effort, honey. You talk about um, how you, years ago, you worked for the uh, World War II. Well, you said uh, in the summers, I went before I uh, graduated from the schools. I, I in the summers I used to pick strawberries. Yeah, yeah. I remember I used to get it. My uh, sunburns so, uh, all. Yeah, <laughs> terrible. Yeah, and your your tell uh, Margaret your your father was in the Spanish American War. Yeah. You told me. Yes, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has quite quite a hundred years. But he was a German, uh -huh. and if you wanted to live with someone like a mad German, I lived with him. But that's that's why I went to do health work and everything. Well, the picture of those people up on the uh, yeah, there's a picture there. up there of her relatives, her fa their family. He was a mad German. <laughs> Is that what you said? What? Your father? I forgot what I said. In the you forgot of what he said. <laughs> well, if he was a German, you're German too. You're half. German. Half. half. Yeah. What's the other half? Well, my, I don't know what my mother was because she didn't. She had been a, a, in the, this country for all her life, and I don't know what she was. But she she was. She wasn't any, she was part nationality or something. <laughs> she was a mix, a mixed breed. She was a mixed breed, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do they call that? Um, 57 Heinz variety. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You did a lot. You saw a lot of different things in your travels. Oh, yes. I worked in New York City. But I was scared to death to live there. I know. For a while. Scared to live there for a while. New York, yes, you know. You know, I was a person that, not that I'm bragging, but I had a lot of friends. And I still hear from them, the ones that haven't died. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they call her up. As I retired, I knew I had something else to offer. I naturally was there for my grandchildren and my daughter-in-law, who has three children and she needed help. But then as they all went to school, Margaret, my hands were hanging. And I didn't like it. I didn't want to get depressed. I didn't want to uh, stay home all the time. I enjoyed it. I didn't like retirement right away. It's such an adjustment. And then I, uh, a friend of mine suggested Edith, because she was having surgery, and by goodness sakes, I came here, and this is end of story. Uh, Edith said to me, um, I think we fit, because this girl said, I want to come back, and Edith said, I think I like it the way it is. Wow, what a... And it was wonderful, because I enjoyed her so much, and uh, just helping someone... I want to do more for her because I she feels lame sometimes, mm -hmm. but it, that'll come in time. And I've I've increased to do laundry, and shopping, and it keeps me busy. It gets me out in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of my day is my day. How long are you here? When Mondays nine thirty to whatever, and then I do her laundry. And uh, if I'm a companion to her, too. If she's lonely, I'll come down here. I have asked her many times, call me. And I take her son for his haircut if he needs it in the winter. I take him, pick up his prescriptions. Uh, no, no set hours. Whatever no. needs to get done. Yeah, Monday is the day. And then there's a doctor's appointments. There's foot doctors. There's um, her primary. There's haircuts. Um, anything she wants, she'll say, I need a haircut. Okay, let's go. I've oft, often thought about, like, like the saying age is just a number because what is the number where 
you're, you're told you're no longer needed to work at a given job, but yet you still feel very useful. useful. You still have a lot more to do, oh, to give. Yes. Oh, yes. So Owning my own home, Margaret, going out in the yard, doing my yard work, I can't wait. I'm limited to some things. I stop, I take my time, nothing has to be done in one day. I've learned at my age, I take it easy. I enjoy it more. Nothing has to be done in one day. Let it sit there, and then tomorrow's another day. That's wonderful. I love taking care of my grandchildren. They come, we have sleepovers. We have a lot of fun. I'm by myself and love it. And have been along for a while, right? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Been along at least 25 years. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely have. And I have a lot of company and they come and see me and I'm kind of glad to see the little guys go home. But it's wonderful. I love them so much. Yeah. Oh, they give joy to me, yeah. as my little lady does. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, the youth and the, and the um, elderly. And I think the elderly need so much help today. And I have, I, I don't want to do anything else until, you know, we don't know what's going to happen here. Yeah. But I don't want to leave Edith to do yeah. anything else I want to do for her right now. 